What's up guys, it's Loremaster here and welcome to the first episode of our brand new Java development tutorial series. And throughout this series I'll be teaching you everything that you need to know if you want to start developing or programming or just generally being knowledgeable about the Java programming language. And I'm super excited because if you've never programmed before or you just want to try coding in Java then you can start right now and hopefully this will help everyone out who's trying modding on my channel as well. So uh, let's just get right into it, I'm super hyped. Uh, in this first episode we're just gonna get to installing Java and also your IDE, also known as Eclipse, in this uh, in this specific tutorial, and uh, your workspace pretty much for you to code in. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go down to the description of this video, and there should be two links to two important pieces of software that we need. So the first link will take you to the Oracle website right here. I'll just refresh the page. And um, this is the uh, Java SE Development Kit 8. This is very important because this is the software that allows you to actually have the tools to develop in Java, and it'll come with the JRE and everything else that you need. So all you need is this. And uh, sw scroll down to the bottom here where it says Java SE Development Kit ATU202 or whatever version yours says, and uh, you can hit Accept License Agreement. Download whichever operating system version you have. Mine is win Windows 64, so I'm gonna click there and save it to your desktop. I've already uh, downloaded it for efficiency. So uh, once it's here, you can see it on your desktop and you can double click this icon, the JDK. Once the pop-up appears, it'll say blah, blah, blah. Welcome to the installation wizard. You can hit next. Uh, don't worry about any of this, just hit next. And it'll start installing some stuff and you should get a pop-up in a little bit that will ask you to close it. There we go, here's our pop-up. It'll just say important information. You can just hit okay, this doesn't apply to us. And uh, make sure that you have the correct destination folder wherever you want to install your um, your runtime environment. Uh, it doesn't really matter, just leave it default if you want and hit next. And I will be right back when it's done installing. All right, so you'll know it's done installing when it says successfully installed right here. And you can just hit close. And we can actually delete this application because we're done with it. So just throw this in the recycling bin. And next we're going to install the Eclipse IDE. Uh, I mentioned the workspace earlier. This uh, IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. And it's pretty much just this giant workspace that you can use to code. It kind of has a spell check feature for code. It's really cool and has a lot of important features for compiling your code. So we, we definitely need that. Uh, although you can code in a text editor if you want. But yeah, go to the second link in the description. And that should take you to the Eclipse website right here, eclipse.org. And you want to download the Eclipse IDE 2018 to 12. So download the 64 bit version and uh, hit the download again. And uh, this, there's an optional donation page, but it is entirely free, so don't worry about this. And you can save to the desktop, but I've already downloaded it for efficiency. So let's go to the desktop. And we have here our Eclipse installer, Win64 for me. Uh, and you can double click this and it'll open up a little pop up that will help you install Eclipse. All right, so our little pop-up came up and we just gotta wait a little bit. Uh, there we go, Eclipse installer. Oh, we got a couple. There we go, just need one. And you wanna download the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Should be the first uh, option with the three little icons right here. So click that, the Eclipse for Java developers. And uh, you don't have to worry about the installation folder, but make sure you have a desktop shortcut, very important, and you can hit install. You'll get a little uh, license agreement form, just accept now. And you'll get a couple pop-ups along the way, so I'll explain them as they go. Here we go, so first pop-up, these are pretty much just software user agreement forms. Just hit remember accepted licenses and accept. And you should get one more pop-up in a little bit, so I will see you when it pops up. All right, so we finally got our last pop-up and it just asks if you trust these certificates. So just click the Eclipse Foundation box right here and hit accept selected. And it should finish up installing. There we go. And once it's done, you can, uh, don't launch it yet. You can exit out of here and it'll say, oh, but you should launch it first. Don't worry about that, just hit no. And you can get rid of this Eclipse installer. And if you have this little icon on your desktop, then you have successfully installed your integrated development environment or your IDE. All right, so now we need to make a little uh, folder or a space for us to keep all of our code in so it's all organized. So uh, right click on your desktop, new, folder, and we're gonna name this folder, uh, you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it coding because that to me is gonna tell me that that's where all my code is. I'll put it up here in the top right corner 
and I'm going to put my Eclipse Java application inside of here and double click this coding folder that you made and you should see your thing inside of there. You wanna make a new folder and we're gonna make what's called a workspace. This is gonna hold all of your code for a specific project and you might have different workspaces throughout time, but it's very important to keep everything organized. So we're gonna right click, new, folder. And uh, since this is a tutorial series, I'm gonna name this workspace tutorial, oh, no capital U there, tutorial workspace. And you can just hit enter and there we go. It should be an empty folder. And uh, now we're gonna actually use this folder. So double click your Eclipse IDE application and you should get a little pop up here. And in a moment, it'll ask you for, here we go, a workspace. And this is exactly what we made earlier. You can see right here, our tutorial workspace. So go into this workspace uh, section right here and hit browse and uh, go to desktop, go to your coding folder and you wanna select your tutorial workspace or whatever you named it for whatever project you're doing. Hit select folder and you should see here that we have the full path to your tutorial workspace. What this is gonna do is place all of your code that you make inside of this specific folder so that it's all organized for you. It's really nice and uh, you can hit launch. And it'll take a second to launch. We'll get a little loading screen and I will see you guys in a bit when it's done. All right, so Eclipse is open and we can uh, full screen this and get rid of the welcome page. And now you have your fresh IDE all set up and ready. We don't actually have any code yet, so everything is completely blank, but uh, we have everything set up. So in the next episode, we'll be getting into some cool basic concepts and actually start coding, which is really awesome. So thanks for sticking with me and uh, stick around for some awesome tutorials. And I will see you guys in the next episode.